Well, hey guys, my name is John Graves, and I'm the instructor for EDUC 329, the assessment course, and I'd like to welcome you to the course and give you a little bit of information about the structure of the class, a little bit about me, and where we'll be heading this semester. So first of all, I'm an educator, and I have been a teacher for about 38 years. 30 of those years were actually spent in the middle school where I taught language arts and science, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. Over the years, I started to do some work at the university level. I've taught undergraduate assessment courses, undergraduate science methods classes, and then I also was involved fairly early on in a master's degree program. I live and teach in Bozeman, Montana, and I work at Montana State University now full-time in a master's degree program called the Masters of Science and Science Education. In that course, I'm the core ed science education instructor, and I teach assessment, classroom research, uh, science inquiry, things like that, and all of my teaching now is done online. I also taught a course for Shadron State this last summer, and it was a graduate level course for administrators. It was um, administrative supervision. So I'm not new to the online environment, I'm not new to online teaching, and I'm certainly not new to teaching assessment. So I'm really looking forward to working with you in the class this semester. As you begin to work your way around the, the course in Sakai, Obviously, you'll end up on the syllabus, so I encourage you to take a look at the shortened version that I have on the web page, but also download and take a look at the long version of the syllabus. Be sure to take a look at the assignments page. Um, I think you'll only be able to see some of the assignments um, as I'm opening them, but you'll get some feel for the assignments. One of the things you'll notice is that many of the assignments will span two weeks, for example, weeks two and three will be together, weeks four and five will be together. So just be aware that you'll have a couple of weeks in which to accomplish uh, the assignments that are given, but don't think you can just save everything until the very end of the very last week. I really highly encourage you to be online every day or every other day because that's where you will find the most success in an online course. I also will put you in discussion groups where I anticipate you and expect you to be involved in discussion throughout the weeks. And each of you will serve as a discussion leader during that time. Let me explain my philosophy and approach to discussions. I am a lurker when it comes to discussions. I am not actively participating each week in the discussions. And the reason for that is I have found over the years of working with online students that a much greater and a much richer discussion takes place when I stay out of the discussions. So that's why I use discussion leaders. If you want me to participate in your discussion sometime during the week, drop me an email message asking me to join your discussion and I'm more than happy to get in and share my thoughts and continue on with the conversation that you have going. But please know that I will not be in every week. I will be lurking. I will be you know, periodically checking what you're talking about. I won't let the discussions get too far off track, but know that I won't be around all the time. So if you have any questions about that, just let me know, okay? Of information on the resources page that will guide you in terms of how to prepare to be a discussion leader, how to participate in discussion, and then at the end of each week you will turn in a discussion rubric giving me an indication of how you think you did in the discussion during that week. There also will be formal assignments that are due periodically, so again that will all be on the assignment page. In addition to assignments and discussion rubrics there will be quizzes and then at the very end of the class, I would like you to submit a portfolio of assessment ideas that you've generated throughout the entire course. And that can come in any format you want. It could be a presentation. It could be a podcast if you wanted it to be. It could be a Prezi, an infographic, whatever you want it to be. And there's more information about that on the syllabus. And also I'll have it on an assignment page as well. So as you have questions going forward, please be sure to let me know what those are. I've given you my phone number and you have access to my email. Um, I will get back to you as soon as I can. And all the images that I use in this presentation are listed here. But 
always, if you have questions, please let me know. And again, welcome to the class. It'll be fun to work with you this semester. See you later. Bye now.